What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. In this episode we have our invasion force that's landed in southern India and they have marched on to the capital of Mysore. So hopefully if we can do quick um, speedy siege tactics we won't have to worry about these two stacks coming in in reserve. We can knock out the garrison, take the city and then that would destroy all of the Mysore forces including this full stack here in port. So, without further ado, let's crack on. We do have, res we do have a another army um, in reserve if we need to call upon them. Um, but I don't think that would be necessary. Uh, probably is worth swapping some units about like this so that I've got the more useful units coming in first. But yeah, let's attack Mosul. So, as you guys should know by now, the, the name of the game is doing enough damage to make capture of the, the capture of the city quick but not actually destroy any complete units either through just destroying them or causing them to rout. Now one thing that's definitely in our favour is we don't have mortars so we can be we don't have any mortars to deal with so that means we can be a bit more a bit more methodical a bit more measured in our approach and it's a bit less of a unstoppable gamble whenever we do decide to attack. Oh, pardon me. Uh, ooh. So let's track some of our guns up onto the top of the the hill up here, because that will give us quite an exceptional commanding view. Let's put our howitzers here, just to open fire. And then we pro that, that means this, well, we're going to knock out this corner, so we're going to be attacking from this direction, so let's take a good number of our infantry to get here, ready to advance on that section of the wall. And still a good number to advance up the right flank with our cavalry. Our general's going to be in the centre. There they go, so wander our guns up onto the hill. Yeah, so some of our howitzer units howitz unit can just focus on attacking wherever they please. Well, we have some in the centre. Ooh, are their guns actually able? They are. We might actually be able to knock out our our artillery fairly quickly. Let's speed up time. Because those... The fall of the shot was very close to these gun teams, which obviously wouldn't be, wouldn't be great. But fortunately, it looks like they're focusing on our cavalry to the rear. So once these guys are up in position... They will have quite a commanding view of the battlefield. So let's make my quick climbing howitzers just focus on the men on the walls. Because what's likely to happen is once these guys are up here, they need to focus on the enemy artillery. Because they are actually going to be at threat from the enemy guns. So when they've manoeuvred into position... Well, I would imagine that these artillery pieces could have the ability to attack the 24-pounders. So let's see. I've given them an order. Eh, they will engage. Will you focus on breaking down the corner? They move the muzzles, but it looks like they don't actually want to engage. So they can focus on hitting... Just firing upon the wall. My howitzers might actually switch to round shot and focus on trying to at least damage their artillery. Although, that is an exceptional shot they've lined up for us right there. Dropping quick climb right into the gap there would be pretty delicious. How it's, a, how it's is away. Oh, one hit section of the wall. It didn't go through. And two shells misfired. Still, we're working on creating our entry point. Yeah, there's a whole lot of troops in here, so we are going to need to uh, put our howitzers to work. 
So let's actually give them targets now. Especially as we know that we are going to destroy that sector of the wall. Kill a, kill a, a group of men. Oh, ooh, this corner piece. There's a lot of men sat here. If we could destroy this corner section, that would result in a lot of fallen, Marath fallen uh, Mysore troops. Make sure the orders are done during slow time. Well, it looks like they've actually started to pick their own targets again. The guns towards the rear. To make sure they are attacking that section of the wall. Because once we've... It's... There we go. Oh, it's not the full corner. That's a pity. But at least we've trapped a reasonable number of men up there. We want to keep keep our howitzers firing. Keep our howitzers firing as long as we can without needing to call in the reinforcements. I think that's the name of the game. So let's advance up our line to see if we can lure any potential units to advance out of the city. Because the gunners are... Well, yeah, they've, they're losing their guns. So we don't want to go too mad. Because you're still attacking them, aren't you? You are. So let's get our guns to focus on the 4th Dakil all the way at the rear. Because they've had no damage taken. No damage done. They've got line of sight. And they can keep pecking away at a still valuable enemy unit. And if we can knock down this section and kill more troops, then all the better. Well, I might want one of these guys. Although we are actually wavering ourselves. I don't think there's a way to nobble that gun specifically, except just kind of think of it as one one okay, so I think I get so what I think when I gave them the order, they started to fire again at that rearmost gun team, that's why I had to go back into normal speed and get them to attack the appropriate unit. So if I could knock down, well, that would be quite a significant chunk of enemy troops lost as well. Okay, they're down to half strength, so you instead go on after the 44th. You guys go after the 13th. We do need to spread it out. Spread out the um, the damage. Yeah, that section of the wall is starting to come down. We need to play this carefully because, like I said, we do know we do have a large number of enemy armies coming in. Hmm, interesting byproduct. We accidentally killed a bunch of people on the wall there. Just too far away to attack those units. I think we've still got one unit attacking back here. Yeah, we do. So, uh, did we kill? Uh, not very many men. Okay, so they're giving us a, a chance here. I push up this flank. They're going to engage us from the walls. We're going to engage the head of the 27th that have advanced out of the wall. We're going to hopefully destroy that section of the wall.
In which case then, let's get ready to kick off. Looks like there'll be three breaches made. That unit will not be long for this world. The guns are going to knock out this section here, causing the 31st to become incredibly upset. There we go. So they're down to 31 men. Very well. So let's start the ball rolling. Where's my cavalry? So I want to try and take this section of the wall to open up a new front. Keep the keep the quick line attacking the units that are that are um, perpendicular to where the shell to how the shells fall in. I want to do as much damage as possible now. So let's get the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards to scale the wall. They, these men, their job is to hold. The guns back here, their job is to now aim at the 26th. Actually, no, aim at the 29th, because they're sat back here with no real targets. We've got our first enemy route. Okay, let's start filtering troops in. Because those guys, if they try and, to be honest, we could get some of our cavalry around to the rear anyway, because we do have that breach at the rear. Ooh, that's not great. Keep dropping quick line on the sections of the wall I'm not actively attacking. You men fire at will on. There we go. Start the chug. These men on the right, on the left, can fire at will because they're going to pour fire into the 31st. So we've taken the gatehouse. Let's get a unit in the gatehouse here. Let's get all my cavalry over to the rear, to be honest. You men can also run in and attack. These two units can try and run in and secure better ground. The ninth have almost been knocked out. Quick climb. So if you charge up to try and secure the gatehouse... Yeah, the quick climb is now landing in. Human it, horsemen there. She ignore the gunners. This unit can just run past that Dakil unit now because there's only four of them. Good, get the cavalry in. You men get over here and start to help try and take the centre. Quick climb, keep attacking ground near where all these men are hiding. 
run in and try and take out the Kizilbashi. You guys run in. But these units aren't needed to charge in, although... No, they aren't needed to charge in. Charge in and kill the Kizilbashi. Try and get a dominating position in the center. Then we can start to run out and do all of our holding actions the way we would like them to do. So you're probably going to win against the 8th. Let's maybe run another unit in through here. These units can switch to round shot and engage Kizilbashi to the rear. These men run and secure the gate. Come on, bring the gate into the fold. That's where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. Strange we've not taken the gate. There we go. So now you men charge in. Now you men charge the ninth. There we go. This is the kind of thing we wanted to try and roll out. It's going to take a bit of time to make sure we do clean up the remaining units. But then once we're in, our infantry can form a bit of a defensive block. charge into the back of them there. So it's everyone against this one, this last musketeer unit. Good. Infantry hold the square. All my cavalry get over to the next, to this position, because this is where the enemies are going to come in from. This is where we need our other infantry to advance. Stop our howitzers from firing. There you go. All our cavalry, their job is to hold. No, you, no, you guys kill that last horseman unit to make sure we don't get a surprise reset. Charge in. God, some of these guys are stubborn. Run up, run up. You guys cease fire. You guys get up and take position on the wall. That would be pretty awesome. We have some units storm and try and take this gatehouse. I don't know how worth it it's going to be. I think we've got them all largely tied up. Lots of units that aren't really in a position to uh, stop us. Especially these three units that are stuck up on the top. There we go. 13 seconds. The ransom guys here deliberately to try and block any units pushing through the centre. So this is where the trouble would begin. Although I don't think it would be that much trouble. Um, we've got a good amount of infantry in. We could probably form us a fairly useful defensive position. But there we go. The speedy assault has paid off. And Mysore has been taken. So you can definitely see how, um, if you time it badly, things can go quite badly wrong. Well, you've seen it. But there we go. Arvind Vishwanath. His force has been obliterated by Stefano D'Amico. Their armies are going to fall back. But then they have been taken and replaced by the great Italian army. So then these troops can push up to the frontier. We can destroy the university. Because you really don't like us. Destroying the university will help to a degree probably going to want to destroy this destroy the steam-powered cloth mill to replace it with a church school 
and begin our conversion. They've got Flavio Castiglione. It's going to attack Pondicherry and destroy a Mughal army here to open up the route to our cot. Yeah, there's going to be lots of attacks in this episode because, uh, well, we want to squeeze the south and the east as much as we can while um, our armies in the west or in the northwest uh, start storming down the continent and begin to hit the uh, Indian territories in the northwest like Lahore and Punjab and so on. Okay. So there's a position for some artillery over here. And there's a position for some artillery back here. It's going to be fairly not useful. Set up our howitzers. Four units and some guards are going to push the right. Uh, the left, four units are going to push the right. Two units are going to push the ridge line. Heavy cavalry are going to support the centre and the right. Colonial lights on the left, general in the centre. So get you guys up on the hill. Try to get these guys up ahead of them. How it's just hit the back of my own guys. Fortunately, did not kill them. But yeah, it's been it's a bit of a bit of a lumpy battlefield, really. So get the quick quick climbing how it's just focus on something useful. We don't want to push to take this feature yet. Artillery pieces, they didn't really have a good view at all. I mean, they could arc their shots a bit, but not a huge amount. So that's why this got this unit, this battery here is particularly powerful. Yeah, here we go, the native lancers are coming in, so drop three units into square and bring our cuirassier over. Well, not too far over, we want them to hit the square. They're going for my cuirassier, but they're just going to clip the square instead. And then my cuirassier counter charge. You guys can form. You guys can form line again. The guns have been annihilated. I wonder how much of it's down to you guys. Not much, probably. That's a good. Those are going to be some good shots. Curiosity are going to eat the native lancers alive. These units are going to hold where they are because they're going to patriot this mother as soon as these guys come over the, the crest of the hill. That's when we get them. These Curiosity are going to hold. So you, you are focusing on the 12 pounders. on the flank. Do we have horsemen? We have some Islamic swordsmen. Might actually get my howitzers to focus fire those Islamic horsemen. Lest they turn the flank. Let's get these units into a better formation. Let's get our cuirassier over on the right flank because that's where the biggest danger lies. The left isn't actually being pushed. Their shrapnel shots are actually landing short. But my round shot is not. Okay, there we go. The lines are starting to be hit. The levy are coming in. The horsemen charge, but they've soon changed their mind there. Come on, you guys if you guys can reload and get one more set of volleys off, that would be. Great, because you'll annihilate them. Oh no, you changed targets. Yeah, you hadn't finished your loading procedures. So let's retarget my howitzers. Because I'm going to be 
charging cavalry in. You guys follow up the swordsmen as well, because they're wavering and I don't want my guys to be involved in a protracted action. Let's get my weaker unit of Crusier away. So we've got Hindu musketeers in the centre, but we've also got a big block of routing troops that it'd be nice to take advantage of. Dervish is on the left. It's always the flanks that are the concerning bits. <laughs> That's kind of the way. Let's get my cuirassier actually to help out the right. So you men push up and secure the flank. You guys run into the back of these swordsmen because it looks like they are doing damage to my cuirassier. Although it's probably actually run everyone away. Because they aren't cavalry. Then whichever one they don't run towards There you go, and then once the sixth have charged them. You can charge in the other unit. Those levy are gonna get repulsed by musket fire. Let's do the same again. Charge our heavy cavalry in. Okay, I've definitely given a cavalry unit the wrong order. that cavalry unit the wrong order. So I don't want to abandon them yet because I don't want my I don't want there to be heavy cavalry on my flank to worry about. Heavy infantry to worry about my flank. You guys focus on the general's bodyguard and you guys run into the back of the 128th. Because ideally I'd like to free them up to then take out the bowmen. There we go, wavering. Go on, break him. Break him, break him, break him. Nope. It's on this flank. Yeah. See, my cavalry were skirmishing away from their Hindu warriors. Like, even though they've got the order to attack them, they're running away from them, and that's led them into my gunners. So my gunners are going to leg it. But because of this weird behaviour that they've, that they've started doing, when it comes to cavalry, um, they've actually... They've actually... That behaviour is actually, rather than fighting here and dying the way they should have done, what's happened is my um, cavalry running away from them from some for some obscure reason has actually resulted in the them actually hitting my line. And this cavalry battle on the right against the Islamic swordsmen is a lot more hassle than it's worth. My light cavalry weren't ever going to stand up against those Hindu warriors, but it will give me time to get my gunners out of there, form a new line. And we'll see what those, how those guys do. Good. One of you, chase down and kill that swordsman unit. The other cuirassier, get them into the mix. To be honest, actually, let's try a... Danger close, attack ground quick lime. Pretty sure there's nothing else important to watch out for. Go on, reload your damn. Because of how the action is lined up. Well, they, they fired long and short. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Let's get them both to. No. I don't think I hit you 
We got it quick enough. No, nope, they're all endumbering. Okay, you guys advance. You guys advance. Let that bike carry on. Reposition you guys to hopefully fire at will at the general's bodyguard, who will be in turn engaged by my field artillery, who have nothing to shoot at. They've not fired yet. Here comes the howitzer shots. They're opening up now, but they might have. Oh! There he gets three elephants down and a good shot. Very well. Let's danger close, quick climb the remaining little combat. There we go. It might have caused my guys to rout, but their guys weren't going to stick around any longer than that. Messy battle. Very messy. But I'll take it. I'll take it as the victory it is. Like I said, lost 830 men, but they lost nearly 3,400. So Flavio Castellano, you can replenish. You guys can put our cot under siege. So I'd like you guys to put Fort Valore under siege. Because that would, in turn, um, prevent them prevent them from supporting each other. So this force at Ceylon needs one more unit of line infantry. Well, actually, no, they don't. They need... Don't do any of that. Three howitzers. So obviously you guys took a bit of a hammering previously, but you're okay. I mean, you, you probably should march out and hit Brambora. Really, you should. You should march out and hit him. While he's isolated and there's no one supporting him. But then again, at the same time, this army is... If I do this, at least I've got one full-strength army when they attack, rather than having... Rather than having a um, two depleted armies when they may they might attack next turn. So I think I probably want to take Pepino Volta and hit Amin Kachwaha. Because this army needs to be driven. These have got a few armies on the western side of the river that need to be driven eastward. So we need to take those opportunities as we can. Especially as we've got the massive horde of Italian troops marching eastward. That would be... It would be very, very, very much um, uh, in our favour if we can push them across the river. Because then we can mass our forces at the various crossing points and advance at the time of our choosing. Delightful deployment zone. So let's take advantage of our terrain. I've got I've got militia with me. How quaint. Push the line up. Get this set of guns deployed. I'll spread the right flank out. And then the left flank is similarly a concoction of other of my remaining unit types a nice mixture of elites and regulars so you got my regiment of horse the 17th horse guards and my general deploy my howitzers move uh, slightly off axis and my howitzers open fire with round sharp Oh, I didn't deploy. Mustn't let my militia bi uh, bias things there. So let's take this unit of guns and focus them on that unit of general's bodyguard. 
You guys can focus on the camel gunners. You guys can focus on... 24 pound a foot. Who are you guys here focusing on? The household cavalry. But as they advance... Actually hit the quick Hindu warriors with quick line there. Hit the camel gunners with my howitzers. General's bodyguard unit is booking it. Blast some holes in the camel gunner's line and blast some shots towards the general's bodyguard. Now they're getting closer. Canister shot generally is the safer option. Because canister shot, uh, shrapnel shot can sometimes be a bit funky when it comes to um, detonating too late. Very well. Re change the shrapnel shot and fire them all at the general's bodyguard in the distance. Boom, 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 boom. Didn't really listen to my targets. Oh well. So you hit the Kizilbashi, you guys hit probably the Kizilbashi as well. The general's bodyguard is advancing towards our line. sure the men, the brave Italians, are ready to commit their general to the afterlife, especially as they will be barring by rank. Oh no. So we did kill that general, the general in that army, but it wasn't uh, the commanding officer. Advance the right flank. Get our regiment of horse out on the flank. See, they've had to abandon, they've had to abandon the, the this little defensive position they started building for themselves. warriors are involved. Where's my household cavalry? Bring them up. Go on Fusiliers. Fire at will because they're going to come and kill you. I wondered if that volley was enough because they were wavering before they got into combat. It was very close but I'm thinking no I feel I feel content. But they'll do this. And they did. There we go. You men hit the Sikh Musketeers. These guys can advance. Potentially catch the Kizilbashi on the hop. Let's get one of our gunners to stay firing round shot of the General's bodyguard all the way to the rear. Keep dropping our quick climb in the centre. Seek Musketeers, they're an okay unit, but they're not as sturdy as like Kizilbashi are. From memory, I don't really, I, don't, I haven't really faced them that often. The uh, Muslim warriors are done for. Said, so worst comes the worst. I've got my oh great quick climb shot. I've got a um, my foot guards right here, which looks like they might be called upon. Okay, good. So these units are enough to deal with the levy. To be honest, my general's my my howitzers focus on the general's bodyguard. Let's get these gunners back to focusing on artillery in the distance. And there we go. So we charge them. Regiment of Line Infantry is able to get there. Volleys off. 
the levy also wants to join in on this this action sending my stripy guard boys in push the regiment of foot in take some units of infantry and advance advance and destroy the enemy okay, you lads form up because you guys have a general's bodyguard unit to potentially destroy this infantry form up just let my cavalry chase down the levee because why not these men are going to pour fire into his Kizilbashi musketeers with great effect the general's bodyguard will not be long for this world although he is just out of musket range then right at the back we've got seeing musketeers a bunch of enemy artillery storm their position from all sides yeah their, their general's bodyguard isn't isn't happy with what's happened but i'm afraid that doesn't really matter so i'll chase them down with my cavalry so yeah, just keep killing the levy bring my heavy cavalry back they'll be enough to pursue the general's bodyguard so let's speed up time, because right now we are just advancing up onto a hill. Could commit my general to do something, but there's not really any need. Hey. Now you're going to chase down the general's bodyguard. I think that might be him. Yeah, it is. So charge... I'm not quite sure where they're going. What their target is, yeah. You men join the musketeers. Everyone else just swarm up. Because you've got a sink musketeer unit who's not very happy with the way things have gone. You guys, you guards and line infantry, good. My fusiliers are still continuing the offensive my stripey boy guards on this flank and are storming in there we go just continue chasing them down the artillery yeah the artillery wants to get out of there slowly so does their infantry i don't mind their artillery getting away the overall objective was just to smash them and send them east we're not too worried about annihilating them which which we have done got from four thousand nearly four thousand to eight hundred men that was quite conclusive so your job is to advance you can't advance there. Your job is to go south. Your job is to start to try cut them off. These guys can start to march. Well, can't really march anywhere. So Zahedin, can you guys abandon? Not abandon the city. Yeah, you can. you guys continue your march down towards the front we've got our priest steadily converting the population we've got a garrison at Esfahan which could really do with um, chilling out a bit but there we are we have to slowly convert the population there we've got this force in Georgia minus two Actually, no, I don't think that might even be necessary. I might even be able to steal a Dragoon from 
Dagestan and help out there. Although I still need one unit of recruitment. But Cross Casanova, let's get you... Make you generically run towards the middle. It'll take you quite a few turns. So you're... Well, there's no point in you running to Naroon. Run to Ahmadnagar. So on the east, we are pretty much just fortifying. Um, building up our strength. Get some sepoys. May as well. Okay, then in the Americas. Still building up our troops in Cuba. Ready to launch our invasion. I'm okay with a bit more... I'm okay with the positioning in this front. I mean, we do need to... We do have some armies to take care of, but I'm okay with letting them redeploy and seeing what we... seeing how we respond to them, chiefly. So Patna... Yeah, we can't destroy Syringa. Syringa Patna is being destroyed. Okay, let's hit end turn. Yeah, many, many more armies still in uh, in Western Europe. Then our spies continue to run up to the new front. Good stuff. We've got a garrison of Moscow that would be nice to take out as well. Unit exchange, don't worry about it. Cool. So the ne now the next time we land in we land in southern the southern US, the uh, we're gonna have a whole lot of firepower at our disposal this time. Yeah, the Mughals have quite a significant problem now. It's where do they focus their defence? Because as it is, we're attacking them from all points of the compass. To be honest, you might even land some forces off their west coast to just attack just attack a city and hold it. Their job won't be to invade, it will be just to attack and hold and draw off enemy forces. So Satara would be a good objective. Maybe even the fort next to Satara would be a handy one to hold. As it is, you know they're going to be Recruiting like mad to try and do something about our attack. Yeah, we can try and boot some of our ships out of ports, but we've barely conclusively got a uh, got a blockade in place. So large concentrations of troops near Lahore. take the fort. We can take the fort because then we can bottle you up and we can just um, have an army siege it and then just continue our advance. At least we're not letting them get their troops overseas. You need to be attacked. Are they aware of the stresses? To be honest, I'd like to see if economically we can how well we can put, a, put the squeeze on them because they're currently getting no trade between both their regions. I mean, granted, they're valuable regions, but the idea is that, well, hopefully, we're causing them to significantly overspend their uh, means. So we've got a rake in Morocco, who is also going to... It's super not efficient, but I really don't care. Rakes are useful, but we've got so many and so many en route. I may as well just make them do a long walk. So, lots of good upgrades. Let's upgrade some of our industrial buildings and our frontier territories. Pietro Cabotto, you can attack and destroy that raiding force. Well, not destroyed, but they've been repelled. Afghanistan, yeah, got a new school built. So let's get a sloop there. 
the fortify attack. So yeah, you will need to be attacked, Rambora. Well, continuing your replenishment, although you might sit back here. You will intercept, but, but well, that's actually quite good. I mean, it might they might interfere with the building of the church school. But here, we will intercept them before they hit the steam dry dock and force a river battle, which would be pretty awesome. Our fleets are going out. I wish you could name fleets. So two massive fleets here that have got... Like, okay, so let's split this fleet up until we can get a more suitable trade fleet assembled. The Mughal Empire is currently getting zero from this trade route, which is what I like to see. They get more suitable ships. Two thirds. Pri private here, private here, private here. Okay, right. So we can get a galleon out to you. Take four ships, four fourth rates, and then let's scatter the remaining ships amongst the fleets. New men are their guardian. Oh, more armies. More, always more armies. So. Oh, yeah. For a minute, I'm like, wait, why is that evil? We go, oh, it's because of these guys. Very well. So, that port is unoccupied. So, let's make our, move our ships out of the way. You men sail into Bengala. Disembark. Send a cavalryman to destroy the university. Then the entire army can march on Goa. Demand the surrender of the garrison. We can repair the Subadar's palace and start building walls because they're actually quite weak. So you men are going to push up. So let's build a church school. Let's build a happiness building. Got this other fleet here, who is probably going to sail into Vengola as well. Disembark the army and put Satara under siege because they'll get absolutely hardly anything in reinforcement. So that's two sixth rates there. And then you guys can combine your third and fourth rates as a better fleet. Girolamo Ferrari. I have sorted you out. <laughs> many, many, many more ships to trade with. Or for trade. To be honest, you guys are going to sit in the center. Then we're going to steal. There we go. So we've got, got some ships there. Then I think these are all those fifth rates coming through one well, that army so let's get rid of the fleet arrives because we've sorted them out recruitment report it's got more ships so what she what yeah, sadly we don't really have a role for you this army is going to embark aboard ship and the second rates are going to sail out to India. Actually, no, you're not. We've got loads of we've got loads of armies in India. Truly, a huge amount. Apologies for that sneeze. I couldn't. My, I've sort of rejigged how my filter works on my front of my microphone. It's not so easy to get to now. Okay, so we've taken Nassau. Again, that's another army that can help retake the south. Merge, just march you a bit up, a bit closer together. 
So then we've got. Let's move these ship, these um, troops up to Havana. To be honest, I might send all these fourths being recruited over to. I mean, that's just a fleet carrying nothing. Sell them over to the East Indies. Yeah, Mexico's earning lots of cash out of this, but... Hello, what's this? So where's my fleet fleet? There it is. Go take him out. And let's keep my fourth rates. Hello. Okay, I might have to keep my fourth rates close. Because these aren't... I mean, it's just a bunch of fifths and not big ships, so I may as well auto resolve it. Okay, so my fourth rate stack that's depleted can chase them down. Chomp. Yeah, bring the heavy frigate into service. And you men get up here. That ship's got the potential to do more damage to us, but let's just auto-resolve it anyway. Kablamo! Yeah, did some damage to us, but that's okay. They might go. Yeah, I was going to wonder, I wonder how far they'd get up the uh, eastern seaboard. To be honest, they might be right at the top. So sail straight on through. There they are. Kablamo. Bring the second rate ship into line. Ship of the line into service. Although, I do have to chase them down because can't let them sail around. And again, that's easier said than done. But this is why I've got other fleets. So you men make for Cap Forshu where you will pick up reinforcements. They're up here somewhere. They might be in the corner. Aha! Right in the corner. No, don't bring the third. Don't bring the carronade frigate into service. Very well. You men make for Louisburg. Trade raided, Nino. Yeah, we know you. So go was taken. We've got... Well, to be honest, there's a whole... Again, there's another whole lot of fights we need to make. We need to get... Uh, we need to get done as well in this episode. Like, you're probably going to hit. Well, you can't hit. Sakanda Khan. You can put... Is that something... That must be that reinforcing army, which is great. So what's probably going to happen is this army is going to take, it's going to assault Arcot, because now we've sieged the Great Fort. Oh no, they do come in as reinforcements. I didn't think that was a thing. Very well, then we will siege them. You men are going to garrison Bangalore because you can't actually... Uh, tell us you can. See if you can. Hey, you can. Cool. Looking at the timer, I believe it's tied to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for another whole bunch of battles against the Mughal Empire. Cheers, everyone.